Hi, my name is uh, Caroline Richard. I am the writer of Caroline Inventing. This is me. Uh, this is the horse I will use for this video. Her name is Perfect. Um, she's a four turning five year old mare um, by Alligator Fontaine Coronado Castro. Um, I owned her big brother, Ashur. Sadly, we had to put him down last year due to disease, but I got her from the breeders. Um, right now, you see in the video, she looks pretty easy, she looks tame, actually this is footage from uh, today, uh, February 8th. Today was the first time uh, where she actually was worked in flat work in the outdoors. Um, she hasn't been at her previous riders, three different professionals, uh, simply because she was too wide to handle. I've had her out like uh, you see here, um, just walking with um, my company horse, this is one of my other horses, Worldwide, and his co-owner Johanna. She's been so nice at this, and now today the snow was finally melted. I thought this would be a good day for her to uh, to start up. I'll show you what I mean by too wild by a few clips here. This is also from today. Some of the clips I left out in uh, the original video that you can find on my YouTube channel. Um, in this video, I'll go through how you come from this you see right here to the the horse in the videos I showed you first. Um, I hope this will give you insight in my methods on how to get a uh, calm and controllable horse who trusts you as the rider. Alright, here we go. This is the first clip from uh, me treading today. You see I have a really loose rein. Um, my legs are not all the way into her. This is because she is terribly um, afraid of, of being pushed too much from the legs. Um, so I'm just showing her her way around here in uh, the arena, um, making her comfortable in going forward. That's why I, I don't have much in my hand. Um, just letting her find her way around, really. Uh, make her secure. You see here, the minute she tries to canter, or, yeah, here. Um, and she doesn't. Um, I would have let her done it if that's what she wanted. In a minute she will stop and then I will pause it to tell her what I'm gonna do. Yes, here. Okay, what we see here is a classic perfect moment. Um, where she stops and refuses to go any further. It's a lot better now than it was just a few months ago when I got her. What you have to do is basically understand yourself that you can't always get what you want. Um, what I wanted here was for her to continue trotting, of course, the way around the arena that I wanted. Um, but that's just not how it works. Um, you have to compromise, especially with this kind of horse. Um, so in the beginning, when it was especially difficult for me to make her walk, um, I decided, alright, what she wants is to stand still or back up, preferably to stand still. So what I want will be anything else, making her react to what I give her um, of helpers, of uh, guidelines, or whatever, however you want to put it. Um, so in the beginning, I just want her to make maybe just one step to one side, or well forward if, if I could, but that would be pretty difficult. Uh, now it's a bit better. So now I, I, um, I'm trying to get her to walk just any direction. Okay, let's change the rain um, just quickly because I have a better example um, there. Look here. Alright, so you see here she's already hesitating quite a lot more and here she um, yeah, decides not to go any further. I convince her to walk a bit uh, or to trot a bit more. You see she's still not really onto the idea and this is where she agrees not, not to do what I ask her to do. Um, so she turns a bit. Yep, now we're this way. I try to make it go this way. She accepts and we are back to standing here. Okay, so because these aren't new um, surroundings for her, this is not something she's comfortable in, she's a bit insecure, I didn't want to push her. So actually here I asked my mother um, to grab the rein and to follow me just a bit um, on or down this way where she didn't want to go, this this right side of uh, the arena to the camera. Um, and we guided her along um, 
and we did that a few times I'll show you uh, what she did in between these times so you can get an idea of how well she she, she actually trotted around um, for the other half of the arena take a look here yep so we have uh, continued on uh, my mother is back at her camera filming spot and I am on trotting with perfect again you see this time uh, she's going a bit more forward herself She's not hesitating as much. You see, it comes here again. Yeah, we <laughs> we disagree. Um, and she keeps trotting a bit more this time. And here we stay. All right. This time I do not want um, to make her go on to the left brain. Remember, I want to keep this as a good experience for her. I don't want to put up a fight. So I um, from here lead her on to the right brain again. I want her to feel comfortable and to make her happy and she is on the right way so this is where we continue yep so we're back on trotting again um here when the horse reacts to what you want them to do which is going forward um it's important to keep a loose rein uh where you just have the contact uh, stable enough to make them secure about where you are um let them go but don't push them if they want to canter here, let them. Uh, if they buck, it's fine. Just keep calm. Here she stops. Uh, pat the horse. Make it go forward again. Make sure it's happy. Make sure it's not forced. Um, make sure you don't kick it. Don't whip it. Don't spin it around in uh, in in its head or with the reins. You see here she walks again, which which I don't want. I, I want her to continue trotting. So this is the technique I spoke about earlier, by turning the direction, um, making her go just somewhere. Um, so she's following, not my orders, um, I like to use directions better. Um, it's a more positive word, I think. Um, and so we continue, we go on here. You can see already, we're, um, even at this distance, that she's happy. Um, now she's a bit more relaxed in her trot. Um, and going forward herself um, a bit more, not so um, so hesitating as she was in the beginning. Um, so let's try the left bolt again. All right. So um, I'm changing the rein by making her think we're still on the right rein, and then turn over here, which she doesn't think is a good idea. So we stop again. Um, this is where I decide not to put up a fight. I don't want to kick her, I don't want to push her, I don't want it to make her more insecure of me as a rider, the one she should trust. Um, so I asked my mother to uh, be my assistant again. Um, obviously I don't have any footage of this because uh, she's the cameraman. Um, but what she does is she walks on the right side of perfect because that's the shoulder she breaks out through when she does this. Um, and walk with me around the course um, and not really uh, pulling her, not pushing her, not doing anything but supporting her with a hand uh, on the neck of her. So we walk one round past this, we go through it easily because she has learned to trust uh, us from the ground now and I try trot, uh, trot around again she stops and I make my mother go there and this time not having a hand on her shoulder or neck just walking beside her um, and I gently um, give her a bit of a forward going help with um, the leg a bit uh, exaggerated compared to what I usually do when I actually ride her but that is uh, because I want her to um, to link this help with her actually walking this way because when I will next time try go this way without the help of my mother I want her to remember this is the help I used when my mother was there when she was comfortable when she felt safe and sound in, in doing this so um, my mother helped me around a couple times and this is me trying again what you see here is that she's already uh, a lot more confident in going forward um, trotting a bit more or a lot more fluently and she takes the, the turn down here 
at this end of the arena just fine. Uh, you see when I come out here of the shadow, um, patting her, I'm with a big smile because she's just so great. Um, and it's important that you let your horse know that you think it's so great, because it is. Um, this was a thing that was a problem and now it's not anymore. She takes the cancer herself here and I let her do it because I, I don't want to punish her for going forward by making her trot. Um, so I go with it, a bit excited. Um, I was fearing a little that I was going to fall off, but she stops again, you see here. Um, what you can't see from this footage here is that um, I make her uh, stop, full stop entirely, and I let go of my ra uh, reins. Uh, I pat her um, behind her ears, I talk to her, I tell her, it's alright, it's fine. And she just stands there and enjoys herself for a bit. And then I pull up my reins and I make her trot. And she trots forward and that's really good. And this is where we continue. So we're back on track and we come to canter pretty quickly, right there. I sit at a quite heavy seat at first just to get a feel of her, but I come to a lighter one right there. There, yeah. Um, just listen to my voice um, from the original footage now because that's a help that I use uh, around here. Okay, I'll just give you this uh, short clip from the right wing canter. You see she's hesitating a little bit in going forward in the beginning, but she comes around the corner here. Um, the only thing that's really important is to keep your light seat and keep a rein that's inviting and pleasant and comfortable for the horse to go forward with. And then, it's really, really important, I can't tell enough times, don't be afraid of the horse. Uh, you see, Perfect has a massive canter and it's easy to be, well I don't know, a bit scared of this big horse, um, she's young too if she runs wild, but the worst thing that can happen is that I fall off or you fall off and we've all tried that before, so don't mind that. Okay, as the last thing I'll just comment on my legs because as you see I don't have a very tight grip to the saddle or to the horse. Um, this is because Perfect, like her brother, Assure, um, are really sensitive to the legs for some reason. When you push uh, or if, if you push hard, the harder you push, the more they'll go backwards, basically. And in the end, they'll just stand entirely still. I don't know why. Uh, I can't tell you the reason why. I just know that uh, it doesn't work to keep pushing because they'll not move. Uh, so I found another way. And sometimes you can push and sometimes you can have a proper grip. Um, but it doesn't come from one day to another. So just take it easy and enjoy when your horses do what you want them to do.